the server pack running. There it is. And uh, what I'm going to do here is what I would do is I would hit on this green folder at the top. Okay, it should possibly be no secret that I make mod packs. All right, both of these are my mod packs. I made them. Like, here, start with create. I'm just going to hit play, and you're going to, we're just going to verify that it's running. All right, so it is loading. It won't take long to load. There's only 180 mods in it. There we go. We've gone full screen. We're just proving that it's running. There we go. Start with crate is up. I know it's gaudy. I'm going to have to rework that. All right, so I got the server pack running. There it is. And uh, what I'm going to do here is... What I would do is I would hit on this green folder at the top and I would navigate to where my curse forge or mod rent instances are located uh, on Windows that would be in your documents folder. And then I would click on the folder that contains the mod pack that I made. So open it like that. It'll say some things. You can ignore everything that it says. You can hit Control S to make that thing go away. You can give it a version number. If you're going to be publishing, you might want to give it a version number. You can ignore all of this. Everything is explained in the wiki, though. There's a wiki, um, which will show up when you hit Help. Or you can click the step-by-step -step guide to really explain everything. But you can ignore all that and just hit Generate. And it's going to... In a few short seconds, it's going to pop up a thing that's to say browse to the server pack. You're going to say yes. If you're on Windows, you're going to double click start back. And if you're on Windows or Mac, you can do start sh. And if you're on Windows and you're one of those elite people and you understand PowerShell, you can hit start PS1. That's PowerShell. I'm on Linux, so I'm going to hit the start sh. I'm going to hit run in terminal. And then it's going to ask me to agree because Server Pack Creator uses its own copies of Java, among other things. And now it's downloading the libraries all fresh for the server pack that we are creating for the mod pack that I just showed you that is running in the background. And there it is. It's loading up. It's a really short mod pack. We don't have to wait long at all. Starting, preparing level world. Uh, boom. There it is, right? Yes, voice chat server. That's the last thing. There's a done somewhere up on the screen. I'll type list. It'll say 0 20. That is, means that it's definitely done. So now I can come over here. And I can go on multiplayer, and then I can click on Direct Connect, and I can type localhost, Windows, Mac, Linux. You just type localhost, and then type join server. And now it's joining the server that we made. So you see, I'm joining my server, and there I am on my server. Okay, so that proves that the server I made from my pack is working. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and kill this connection. We can kill all of this stuff, including this. I'm going to hit Control-C over there. Hit done. And then what we're... And so we have... So it created something. So let's go over here back to the server pack creator. And you can go to where it says server packs. And then at server... And then you find the one that's named the thing that you just did. Or you can go by the date. So that start with create. So all you have to do at this point is make sure that Bisec Hosting has your correct mod loader installed, and then all and then you can upload the config, default configs if it exists. Ignore anything I don't highlight. 
schematics if they exist, scripts exist, QJS if they exist, and only world if you made something custom in your single player that you want your server users to use. Okay. But the easiest way to upload all that is to right click on this, things that are highlighted, and hit compress. And you turn it into a zip file and you hit create. Or OK. And now I have it as a zip file right here. I would upload that to my server. Just drag it over there. I guess you might want to see me do that too. So we'll go over here to the panel. I don't know, bisect hosting and panels. It says offline, so it doesn't even matter if, the, if you can see the IP. So here's the files. And then what you can do at this particular point, so I'm going to just delete this and something. There's all kinds of things missing from here. So let's go ahead and delete that just so I can prove everything works. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit upload. And I'm going to go to where that um, server packs were. I have little short links that get me around easier. And if you're going to be doing this off, then you're going to want to do the short links. And we know we did it in there. And there that is. And I'm hit open. Or you could drag it to this. You can hit upload and you can drag it to this screen. Okay, there it is. And then I'm going to hit these little three dots over here. I'm going to hit unarchive. It's done. So the config folder, the default configs, the mods, and the scripts and the schematics all came out of there. And that's how you get it on your server. And as long as you got the right mod loader installed from the swap jar section, boom, it's going to work.